All right, hey YouTube, how you doing? I'm gonna fix this real quick. All right, um, so today I wanted to, uh, I guess first I wanna talk a little bit about just uh, what some updates in my life. So um, I think today I published Moat 30, which uh, it's, it's interesting. I'm ahead of schedule because I believe this is gonna be Moat 45. So, you know, we're almost halfway done with the 100 video challenge. Um, and I think in like video 30 or 29 or actually maybe, no. Nah. So video 20 or 39, those were recorded a while ago. Uh, but somewhere in the 30s, I um, have a video of me cooking and I cut my finger and that happened two days ago. So um, yeah, today um, I was just kind of making some videos um, that I'll post later on. But um. Yeah, I think also in a recent video I talked about shaving. Still haven't really done that, giving myself a haircut. Uh, I was going to shave right before recording this, but I feel like I'm just going to shave, you know, later today. So hopefully in the next kind of video I don't have a beard. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, shaving, uh, cut my finger. Those are really the personal updates I wanted to talk about, I know. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess like... You know, I it, I wanted to have like a good buffer of videos. Uh, I I don't like the idea of kind of feeling behind. So um, yeah, I guess that's kind of explains that. Kind of a bad intro, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, we're talking about art today. Um, and what I want to talk about art is uh, mostly just what it comes to like this channel and just creative things that I've done in my life uh, up until this point. Just kind of want to talk about it a little bit. Um, first, I wanted to talk a little bit about kind of my definition of art. Um, so I think when you look up art, it kind of talks about like expression through creativity and imagination, something along those lines. Um, but I guess I wanted to expound upon that a little bit. So like when I think of art, uh, and this is going to sound really cheesy, but I think of it almost as like this medium uh to observe the soul of the creator in a way. And yeah, that sounds a bit cheesy, but I think like um, the purpose of art really is to kind of disguise this connection between the artist and the audience. And um, I think that it's like really about the artist kind of exposing this vulnerable side of them. Um, I think that's like the, the key secret to good art when you can kind of like see something that evokes this emotion uh, and, and you, you kind of feel like you learn a little something from the artist. Um, and I, I guess one other thing I wanted to kind of talk about relating to this is that like, you know, everyone, uh, I don't know if everyone, but most people, uh, they want to be like remembered when they die, right? And so I think like art is just one of those kind of mediums in which you can kind of leave a piece of yourself behind so that people can sort of, you know, knew, know who you were, kind of like, you know, uh, you, your great grandkids or whatever can uh, experience it and be like, you know, that's what my grandfather, great grandfather, you know, created or something like that. Um, also like the idea of just kind of like people maybe using art to like study the culture of people of that time. Uh, this is what they thought. Uh, I don't think that this channel is a good representation of, like, you know, what we were thinking. I don't know, maybe it is as a whole, but it's at least what I was thinking during this time. And so uh, I guess take that with you as you may or whatever. Um, but yeah, talking about art, that's my definition, I guess. Uh, pretty corny, cheesy definition. Um, mediums that I've used to try to make this concept of, like, passing my brain on, I guess, for future generations to observe. Uh, I've tried writing stories. Uh, I published one uh, mythology with some people. Um, I've tried to create a video game, uh, actually two video games. They're uploaded on itch, uh, which is a website that's kind of like YouTube, but for like indie games. Um, I've tried, you know, D and D role playing with friends, sort of, kind of, um, you know, expressing myself creative, creatively that way, sort of like acting. Um, but you kind of like write the character. You don't like you act 
act as a character someone else has created. Uh, I've tried a lot of drawing, uh, so digital art. Um, it's not very good. I think I'm probably the least good at digital art, but you know, it's something that I dabble in from time to time. Um, and then also, I guess now creating videos. And I used to try to create videos that were, you know, like back when the Let's Play game thing was a big hit on YouTube. I tried to do some of that. Um, try to create some other things back in like, um, you know, high school. Um, but nowadays, it's this is kind of the video uh, medium that I'm using to sort of express myself creatively. And I think like each medium has like pros and cons, obviously. So like with writing, uh, you're really only limited by the language that you can use. So um, it's really kind of rewarding to use uh, very specific language to communicate very specific uh, emotion or feeling. And I think that's something I really like about writing. Um, I feel like Maybe I'm just wrong. I feel like most people don't really read books these days. Like some people still do, but, uh, you know, a lot of people do. But I feel like it's just if you're going to write a book, um, it's really hard to uh, get your name out there and get people to read it. It's a big time commitment. You know, like you could watch a movie and it's only like an hour and a half, two hours. Or you could read the book and it could be, you know, eight plus hours. So it's uh, it, it's a uh, not as flashy as uh you know a video but you know writing is definitely like i think i like doing that the most it's just nice to kind of you know let your pen hit the paper even though i use like technology on like computers and stuff but writing uh creating a video game that one's probably the hardest one on here for me um it's everything from, you know, creating the images to writing the code to managing the assets to coming up with the music, the sound effects. Uh, I didn't use any uh, voice acting, but, you know, voice acting. And there's just so many things when it comes to creating a video game that um, I might want to, like, you know, just make a simple quest where you have to collect three things and then you have to create each item. You have to create the NPC. You got to, you know, do the, the story beats of, like, what makes sense here there's just a lot to manage boss and then you got to do ca combat encounters uh i was doing like an rpg kind of game so it was definitely a um not a simple thing but i i felt like you know making like a platformer or something it didn't really convey the message that i wanted to do uh, i think that like an rpg kind of game where you walk around kind of like you're playing Pokemon, like one of the old Pokemon Game Boy games. I feel like that's the kind of like game that I wanted to make. So that's why I was kind of doing an RPG. Uh, the final results are not, they don't feel finished at all. But, um, you know, it was just a fun little way to express myself. Maybe I'll make more games in the future, but I don't know. D&D um, &D and role playing uh, goes along with acting. Uh, something you can kind of do with friends or family or anything like that. And um, I like being, I, I really like, so I like planning to be Dungeon Master, but I don't like actually being Dungeon Master. I think that I don't really like the improv element. Things don't go according to plan. And uh, I think that kind of like frustrates me a little bit. Um, so I don't think that it's a natural position for me to be in, but I do like being a player. Um, and I, you know, just like kind of expressing myself through that medium from time to time. Um, digital art is, uh, you know, like I was talking about uh, drawing and stuff. Uh, this is, again, when I was saying the least proficient thing. Um, but I do think that it's really, it's, it's a cool visual to have. But I think, like, in terms of what I want to create, it's the least impactful. So that's why I'm not really too into uh investing a lot of time into it. Um, I do think that, you know, great artists, they're amazing. Uh, I love seeing great art, um, especially like good character art. I really like um, kind of that image says a thousand words kind of thing. But, um, you know, I, it's just too big of a time investment for me to really uh, try to pursue that skill. Um, so I like to dabble in it creatively from time to time, but it's uh, just something that I can't really you know, I think like anyone can learn to draw. It's just, I don't know if I have what it takes to 
really invest in that. Um, and then there's creating videos, and um, it's a lot of work as well. Uh, I obviously am very lazy with video making, but uh, to make good videos on YouTube especially, there's a lot of, uh, you know, most people who put, uh, uh, most people do put like tons of time and energy into their videos, uh, everything from the thumbnail creation to the, the little editing. Um, you know, you have to be good at public speaking to really do it. Um, you have to go back and revise your work. You have to do the research for the videos, write the scripts. Uh, sometimes you have to go to like many different site locations to shoot videos. Uh, it takes a lot of work. Um, and like I was kind of have been kind of talking about, I'm kind of lazy. Um, that's not really the kind of thing that I can do consistently over a long period of time. But I do respect uh, everyone who can do all that. Uh, especially people who, you know, they do this as a job, people who do it with another job, you know, balancing the two, that's, it just takes a lot of um, dedication. And um, I feel like, especially in the sea of just well-produced things, it's hard to really kind of be mindful of that sometimes. Um, anyway, um, after kind of talking about what kind of mediums I have liked to do, Kind of wanted to talk about my personal uh, passion project that I have worked on for a bit. I uh, haven't really worked on it in a while, but um, you may have seen it. Um, sometimes when I film my screen, you can see like the little um, this the top bar or whatever. Uh, there's this uh, project called Tira's Diary that I was working on. Tira is this fictional character that I um, kind of created uh, probably five six years ago. Um, and I play Tira in my D&D campaign. Um, pretty much uh, this Tira's Diary project, uh, it's about a fictional character named Tira, and she writes diary entries to her mother. Um, and Tira's mother is portrayed... Um, uh, so it's from Tira's perspective, but you start to learn that everyone else in the world sees Tira's mother as this devil. And Tira is trying to almost like revenge, or not revenge. Um, she's trying to, I guess, sh she's of this uh, race called the Olbaid, and she, Tira is half Olbaid. So she is trying to kind of paint the Olbaid in a good light. Um, not everything it, that she does is good, but she tries to be a good person despite this kind of evil heritage. And so she's writing these uh, letters to her mother in the hopes uh, it's kind of a fantasy fiction kind of thing coming of age. So she has these magical necromancy powers, and ultimately she's trying to learn them so that she can one day revive her mom or find her grave or talk to her or something like that and share the entries with her as this kind of, uh, you know, I guess hopefully wholesome kind of conclusion. But at in reality of me writing it, there isn't really a plan on ever reaching that conclusion. It's kind of like one of those TV shows that always like how I met your mother or something where like there's this vision of the ending, but then you can keep going on for season to season without there, you ever actually get into the ending. Anyway, that was the kind of the, the whole concept of the, of the story. Um, so it would chronicle uh, Tira starting off, uh, you know, in this orphanage where she learns how to write for the first time and then starts writing the entries, documenting through her kind of uh, leaving the orphanage and going to a magic school and going on all these adventures, building up all this power and, uh, you know, getting more mature over time to eventually where she will go meet her mom or whatever. Um, and each entry would be written in first person, uh, less than a page long, just this sort of reflection about what's going on in her life. Um, and uh, I, I kind of like this format because it was simple for me to create. Uh, so the diary entries, there wasn't really a goal of them being super well uh, refined. Like they could have some errors in them. You know, it's just a diary entry. Uh, it's not like I'm publishing something from a third person. I don't know, that was just my mindset. Um, and it was something I could continuously work on, as I was saying. So the ending is just kind of like this vision. Don't really ever need to get there. It's more about the journey than the destination. Is kind of like one of the themes of the story. Um, 
and I was hoping to just kind of like tackle all these different like issues. I didn't really know what to really focus on. Again, going back into that uh, concept of like art is kind of more of this like expression than it is this um, this science, uh, this chiseled product. Because uh, I think naturally I'm a perfectionist, so having a project that kind of removes me from tr being a perfectionist uh, will actually get me to publish things and not just kind of work on them forever and never and then no one ever gets to see it, you know. Um, so yeah, uh, ultimately, like, I feel like this, you know, I was talking about how, like, art is kind of like a gateway or something to, like, the artist's soul, and I feel like out of all the characters I've kind of made, um, I've made, you know, hundreds of characters. If you have seen the Uno card hockey one, I've had, like, hundreds of characters just for, like, hockey-related characters, so out of, like, all the, like, hundreds of characters that I've made, I feel like uh, this character, Tira, has really kind of uh, resonated with me the most. Um, it's almost like who I am on like a fictional level in a way. And um, so I thought that it would be like a good character to use to kind of, you know, be this magnum opus character. And um, I think it's, you know, good be to, I like the diary entries because, you know, it's first person diary perspective. I kind of can show vulnerability, like a diary is kind of like this person's vulnerable journal. Um, so it really, as the audience, you can kind of get inside the character's head and therefore kind of get inside my head to sort of uh, me being able to explain who I am as a person, I guess. Um, and I I think I also like the, the diary because it kind of has more of like a conversational tone so I'm like writing a letter to a person. Uh, I, there isn't really a lot of room for like plot or drama, but I don't think like the point of what I want to create is about the plot or the drama, um, which is why I'm kind of like, you know, it, it's not really supposed to be like a well uh, popular kind of thing. Like it's not supposed to like get me rich and famous or anything. It's just something that's more supposed to define who I am. Um, and I feel like ultimately there's only a couple handful of plots out there that are kind of reused and reskinned, but I think that like there are an endless amount of people with endless amount of like stories to tell, um, and just different locations to explore, uh, in a fantasy world. So, um, I really liked kind of focusing more on the setting and the character, uh, for whatever kind of thing that I want to make. Um, so maybe I'll make more of a video about Tira at some point, but that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about is this Tira's Diary passion project and sort of how it relates to this YouTube channel and to art, my perspective of art. So this YouTube channel is sort of like Tira's Diary uh, 2.0, although instead of like kind of hiding behind this Tira mask, it's just my face and uh, my nonfiction life. Um, I, it's one of those things where I, I, I like raw footage kind of thing. So, um, you know, no, not really having a big filter or trying to make my life seem cooler than it is. As you can see, we still have the air mattress in the background. I could take that down and like try to tidy up the room and stuff like that. But I think that, you know, that's kind of just what my life is. And I think that it's just more interesting to see that um, in the raw than if I were to go find like a cool background or try to, you know, as I was saying, just I, like my goal isn't really to portray myself as any sort of expert. I don't have life figured out. I don't really want to be like this influencer. I don't really want to get like a million subscribers or anything like that. I don't want YouTube to be my full-time job. This is just kind of like, I guess, an art project, if you, um, if you will. But um, yeah, similar to the diary this is kind of a more conversational tone so uh you know it's just kind of like me living in the same world as you and uh you know we may have different opinions or perspectives on things but um you know that's it's more about kind of building that connection uh with the creator and the audience uh that's kind of like what i'm going for um like so i think there's like a lot of uh, 
I'm trying to figure out how to say this. So when I'm like talking to people uh, in real life, uh, this is kind of has to do with like why I kind of like the idea of this channel, even if it doesn't become super popular. Um, I think that like in my life, I'm kind of this inconsistent person. So like sometimes I'll be like really quiet and sometimes I'll be like really silly and quirky. And, you know, sometimes I'm really serious and philosophical. Uh, there's just all these different kind of like, I guess, um, sides to my um, personality. Maybe it's multiple personality. I don't know. But um, I often feel like it's hard in the moment to kind of express myself um, or like explain my emotions in the moment. I feel like I'm someone that really needs to like take a step back and like think about things on like a serious level. So um, in the moment, sometimes I'll just be like either really quiet or really silly, depending on how I'm feeling or how I kind of gauge the room. Um, and I definitely feel more comfortable writing things down than I do talking uh, or public speaking. So like, I guess when I was like going to college and stuff like that, I majored in communication, but really like, and you do a lot of like public speaking. And I think it's almost like a challenge for me to like try to get better at public speaking, even though like, I feel like I'm not like that good at it. It's just kind of like uh, good to practice things that you're not good at to kind of improve. Uh, but I'm not claiming to be good at public speaking. This is just kind of, you know, it is what it is. Um, I guess in conclusion, um, it's kind of been going on for like 20 minutes. Uh, I like the idea of, you know, the whole YouTube channel idea because it really reminds me of what I wanted to accomplish with the diary um, entries concept. And that is, I like the idea of this kind of like, the there is this uh, possibility for endless content. Um, so I can keep going if I want to, I can stop whenever I want to. I'm not really tied down to the project, but people can still kind of experience it uh, in the art that it is. Almost kind of like this giant puzzle where like maybe each video or each diary entry is a puzzle piece. And on its own, it may make sense, it may not make sense. But as you start kind of watching multiple, um, you know, videos or consuming multiple entries of the diary, uh, you start to put the puzzle together and sort of figure out the, the big picture. And, um, you know, I may or may not make a lot of sense what the picture is, but uh, I guess the main idea is that there is a picture that, you know, may become clear, uh, may not become clear, but ultimately it's art and it's up to you for however you interpret it. And uh, I guess that's kind of what I see about art and how I try to incorporate art in my life. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, have a good one. Later days.